Welcome to this Giftworks video. My name is Steve Faithful, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about signing up for and getting started using Giftworks Anywhere. Giftworks Anywhere is a paid service that allows you to have access to all the features and functions available in Giftworks, regardless of where you are or what kind of computer you're using. Once you've determined that Giftworks Anywhere is the solution for you, you can contact your salesperson. Your salesperson will help you better understand some of the options that are available to you when using Giftworks Anywhere. They're also going to collect from you some of the information we'll need to set up your Giftworks Anywhere service. This is going to include information about your organization, information about the person at your organization who's going to coordinate your Giftworks Anywhere service, some payment information, and then they're going to need a list of users that are, that are going to require access to use Giftworks Anywhere. So if you have three users at your organization who you want to use Giftworks Anywhere, you'll provide us with the first and last name of those users who you want to use Giftworks Anywhere. Once we receive all the information we need, we'll get started setting up your Giftworks Anywhere service. Throughout the Giftworks Anywhere setup process, we're going to be sending you emails and giving you access to a website to see the status of your Giftworks Anywhere service. In this video, I'm going to show you some of those emails and then help you better understand how you can track the progress of your Giftworks Anywhere service setup. So the first thing I want to show you is some of those emails that you're going to get. I'm going to be showing you four emails today that you can expect to receive throughout the setup process of Giftworks Anywhere. The first one is titled, Your New Giftworks Live Account. If I double click on that, I'm going to see the content of that email. It says, Your New Giftworks Live Account has been set up. Here's the information you'll need to access and use your account. Let me explain Giftworks Live. Giftworks Live is a management site in which we provide you access to manage and see the Giftworks services that you have available to you. In this video, I'm talking about the Giftworks Anywhere service, but there are other services we provide as well, like Giftworks Online Donations, and Giftworks Live is the site that you can use to manage that, those services. So in this case, it's telling me that we've set up, and the first step in the Giftworks Anywhere process is to set up you, to set your organization up with a Giftworks Live account. So, Giftworks Live, and it provides me some information, like my name, my organization name, account number, username, and password. So I'm going to go ahead and close this email, and we're going to go over to Giftworks Live and get signed in. So if you go to Giftworks Live, um, you'll see a welcome to Giftworks Live with a username and password sign in on the right-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to sign in to my Giftworks Live account. And what you're going to see when you first sign in um, is... And you're going to see across the top a menu of available things that talk about some of the services in your account information, which you can go in first and, and preview information about your, uh, about your account. Uh, so for instance, you can view your account name, your account number, your primary contact information. You can go and see your billing information, like billing history and so on. And then you can actually go ahead and, and choose payment methods to verify the payment method that you provided to your salesperson during your Giftworks Anywhere um, service setup. So once you've, once you've done that, you can click on the services um, link at the top and you can view the available services. You'll notice at this point, my account only has online donations. Yours probably will not have online donations um, unless you've already been set up with online donations in the past. So you might see a message that says something to the effect of you don't have any current any services yet set up. Now, soon after you receive your email about getting set up with um, Giftworks Live, you should receive another email. Let me go back to my email and you should see the second one that says, thank you for purchasing Giftworks Anywhere. This email contains information you can review while waiting for your Giftworks Anywhere service to be set up. This includes a reminder to go in and to sign into your Giftworks Live account to verify your organization information and the payment information you provided to us. The second thing it does is encourages you to watch some videos about Giftworks Anywhere. While waiting for Giftworks Anywhere to be set up, you can watch some helpful videos that will teach you how to use some of the basic things around Giftworks Anywhere. And then the last thing it does is just notifies you that, we're, that you should see a charge on the credit card that you provided to us over the next few days. So once you've received this email, you can also check on the status of Giftworks Anywhere by returning to Giftworks Live and then signing in using your username and password. and then you can view the Giftworks Anywhere setup status. You'll notice on the home page it lists your services that are available to you and I see Giftworks Anywhere is here and with the word pending, it's a link next to it. Um, I can also go to the services link at the top to, to see the same list of services and it says to me that my service is in the process of being set up and it says please wait an additional three to five days, business days for your user accounts to be available. When I click on that link, it's simply gonna tell me that we're almost there. 
And so in the meantime, Giftworks Anywhere is continuing to be set up. And the next email you should expect to receive, if I go back to my emails, is that a payment was made. Uh, under this Giftworks Live billing, the payment accepted. If you double click on it, you should be able to read it. And it should say your credit card, the one that was provided to us, was charged a certain amount. Uh, for the setup, it, it, yours may simply say setup fee, or it may say the setup and current month fee, depending on what during uh, what time during the month you uh, you elected to set up Giftworks anywhere. Your charges could be different, but you can expect to receive an email that indicates that a charge was made to your credit card uh, for uh, the first uh, for the setup fee and potentially the first month's fee as well. So then, after a few more days, you can expect to receive an email indicating that your Giftworks anywhere service is ready. If I double click on this, it's simply going to say welcome to Giftworks Anywhere. It, it indicates that we've uh, finished your setup and you're now ready to be using Giftworks, you're ready to start using Giftworks Anywhere. And it, it instructs you to sign into Giftworks Live, uh, into your Giftworks Live account to be able to get the information you'll need to get started with it. And it provides some information about getting started. Uh, for instance, it tells you um, when you sign into your Giftworks Live account and you click on the manage link, which we'll do in just a moment, it's going to show you links to get uh, some software that you'll need to download and install some links to some videos, and then the usernames and passwords. So why don't we head over to Giftworks Live and see what uh, we can access now. So let me open up Giftworks Live, sign in using my username and password again. Now on my home page, I'm going to see Giftworks anywhere, but I'm also going to put up now instead of an uh, pending link, I'm going to see a manage link next to Giftworks anywhere. If I go to my services page, I'll see it again, and, but this time it says that my service is ready. Click on the Manage link to go to Giftworks Anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link. And now, instead of seeing a message saying that we're almost ready, we have the actual information we'll need to get started using Giftworks Anywhere. Um, like I mentioned a moment ago, as instructed by the email, there's going to be a, a number of steps that you can follow to get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is download and install the Giftworks Anywhere software. If you're using a PC-type computer, you're going to want to use this first link. Uh, that downloads uh, software that's compatible with a PC. If you're not using a PC, maybe you're using a Macintosh or you're using a Linux machine or some other type, you can click on this link which will take you to a page to download software for a non-PC. The second step you're going to want to do after downloading and installing that software is maybe take some time to watch a video. Uh, our video library, if I click on this link, our video library contains uh, information. If um, it'll take you to our YouTube channel, which on the right-hand side, you're gonna, if you scroll to the bottom, you're going to see information that you can watch some of these videos, and perhaps you're already there because you're watching this video right now. And then the third thing, after number one, installing the software, number two, watching some videos, is to get started using Giftworks Anywhere. And the first thing you'll need to do is is get a list of your usernames and passwords that are available for Giftworks Anywhere. And you can click on this tab, he, uh, this link right here, to click on the Users tab, or up at the top, click on this Users tab right here. And it's going to take you to a list of users that are available that you've provided to us for Giftworks Anywhere. So you're going to see User 1, User 2, and however many users that you provided to us, and then a username, which may not match the, name, the actual name of the user that you initially provided to us, but it'll be a, a, a username that represents um, the different users that you provided to us. And then you'll see their password. Uh, this is just listed as X's, but you will see uh, the password for that user. And then you're going to see an indication whether this user um, has Outlook or QuickBooks, some of the options that are available to, uh, to the users with Giftworks Anywhere. And then you can use these usernames and passwords to then sign into the Giftworks Anywhere uh, servers. And you can do that if uh, there's another video that you can watch right after this. But you can do that and in a moment. Let me start up the application that you can use. Um, you, you will, uh, after starting the Giftworks Anywhere client software, you're going to see this, that you're going to be able to provide the username and then the password. And then you're going to be able to click OK and get started using Giftworks Anywhere. To review the process for signing up for and getting started using Giftworks Anywhere, let me go to my email. After speaking with your salesperson and ordering Giftworks Anywhere, the first email you should expect to receive is an email indicating that we've created a Giftworks Live account for you. This Giftworks Live account will be used to access and manage your Giftworks Anywhere service. After signing into Giftworks Live, you can use the username and password that we provide to verify your organization information, verify your contact information, and then verify the payment information that you provided to us. The second email you should expect to receive is a thank you for purchasing Giftworks Anywhere. This email indicates that we've begun the process of setting up your Giftworks Anywhere service. 
And in this email, you can have access to a video library to watch helpful videos about learning about how to use GiftWorks Anywhere. The third email you should expect to receive is an email indicating that we've charged your credit card for fees associated with GiftWorks Anywhere. These fees will uh, include the setup fee and possibly, depending on when you started your GiftWorks Anywhere service, a monthly fee as well. And then the last email you should expect to receive from us is an email indicating that your GiftWorks Anywhere service is ready to be used. In this email, you'll, and you'll have information regarding how to get started using GiftWorks Anywhere. And if you sign into GiftWorks Live and look at your GiftWorks Anywhere service, you're going to be able to see get links to be able to download the GiftWorks Anywhere client software, links to helpful GiftWorks Anywhere videos, and then the usernames and passwords that you'll need to access GiftWorks Anywhere. I hope this video has helped you better understand the process for signing up for and getting started using GiftWorks Anywhere. Thank you for watching.